Hi everyone, my name is Hayes and today I'm going to show you how to purchase, download and export your brushes and swatches to your Procreate on your iPad or your mobile. So there is actually a few ways you can go about this and here are three methods that you can do this. So the first is using your iPad and the second is using your mobile if you're exporting to your Procreate Pocket and also the last one is to download you using your computer and then transferring to your iPad or mobile. So the easiest method is to use the iPad straight away and that is going to be the first method I'm going to share. So if you're using your computer or your mobile to purchase or donate, you can also watch this section because I'm going to show you how to download from my website. So head on over to my website and tap on the Procreate link on the menu. So now we have the Procreate page launched up and you can see the available resources here to download and you can just tap on them and select the amount that you want to donate. Of course, you can always select free which what is what I'm doing right now to demo. So you can just add to cart. I am also going to add the color palette to my cart to show how to export this product into Procreate. So after adding to cart, you can see that at the cart um, drawer, there is a checkout and a PayPal button. So if you are just downloading for free, there is no need to worry about the PayPal button at all. So just click on view cart or checkout to proceed. So once you're in the cart, make sure that everything is in order and then you can proceed to check out at the bottom of the page. Once you're in the checkout page, remember to enter a correct email address. This is very important because if you enter a wrong email address, you will not receive your downloads via email. And I get a lot of bounce emails from people entering a wrong email address. As for your billing address, if you are paying a donation, make sure that you enter a valid address because this address will be used to cross-check against your address in your credit card information by Shopify Security. So even if you are not paying and you're downloading for free, you still have to enter a valid address because I cannot disable this function in Shopify so there is no getting around it for now. Once you are done, you can just click on continue to payment even if it's a free download. In the next page, you will see a list of payment options if you are paying for donations or if you're downloading for free, it will be stated there your order is free, no payment is required. Just tap on complete order to proceed. In the next page, you will see your order is being processed and just wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, do not close this tab because your order links are actually generating so it will take some time to generate your order so once it's generated you will receive links on this page and also in your email inbox Once the link is generated, you will see them appear here and you can immediately download the files. At the same time, you will also receive a total of three emails from my website. The first email is an email of the invoice if you need it and the second email says that your order has been confirmed and delivered but what you're looking for is this email which says your downloads are ready and this is the email that contained download links to your product. So the purchasing guide is done and now I'm going to show you how I install on my iPad. So the first thing I want to do is download the products. So I'm going to head back to the website and click on the download button and then I'm just going to hit on download. And if you look at the top bar, there is a downloads tab and then you can see that they are being downloaded right into your files app. But this will only work if you have a files app. This is the official Apple Files app that you can download on App Store. Using the Files app is the simplest way to install your brushes so make sure you install this app before you install your brushes. Once your downloads is done, you can just tap on the magnifying glass and this will bring you immediately into the Files app. 
So I have two files here and if you look at the extensions carefully, there is a .brush set file and there's also a .zip file. So ignore the zip file for now. For all the .brush set file, you can just tap on it and it will immediately export to Procreate without you having to do anything at all. So once Procreate has said that it's imported, you can just launch any file and check your brushes. Brush set means brushes and you will be able to see your new brush set right at the top of your brushes list. So now let's go back to our files app and deal with our zip file. A zip file is a zip file containing multiple files and once you tap on it, you will be able to extract it automatically into a folder containing all the files that was inside. So you just tap into the folder inside and then you will see dot swatches file. So dot swatches file are color palette files for Procreate and you, when you tap on it, it will automatically export to Procreate. To double check, just go to your color palette section and then it will be right at the bottom of all your color palettes. Repeat that for all dot swatches file and you will be able to import all the color palettes into Procreate. So that concludes the first method of downloading and purchasing on iPad. So now I'm going to demo how to do the same thing on your iPhone if you are using Procreate Pocket. For purchasing, you can follow the same instructions for the iPad earlier on. So if you need that, just rewind. So on a mobile, I am going to try and demo downloading from the email instead of the website. So find the email and click on the download link which will bring you to a website loading something and then you can see a download button. Just tap on that and then the file will automatically begin to download. So remember to install your files app first before you do this or else it will be a very difficult process. I'm just going to demo the swatches file this time and once your download is ready, you can just tap on the magnifying glass and this will bring you to the files app showing your new zip file. So for the zip file, as usual, just tap on it and it will extract into a folder and here are all your swatches files. So just um, process them one by one, tap on them and then it will automatically import everything into Procreate Pocket. To double check, just tap on your color button and then when you scroll your palettes, you will see it's right at the bottom of your palette organizer. And now I'll show you how to do method 3 which is downloading on your computer and then transferring to your iPad or iPhone. So here in my Mac, on my desktop, I have my two files that I've just downloaded. One is a zip file and one is a dot brush set file. So what I want to do is double click on the zip file and it will automatically extract into a folder containing all the multiple files that's contained inside the zip. Then we can go ahead and delete the zip file because we don't need it anymore and we cannot export the zip file to Procreate. And then I'm just going to move all the files inside the folder outside so that I can easily transfer them to my iPad. So if you look here, I actually have a file with a .procreate extension and this file is actually a procreate file. This is a file that I use to demo certain tips and techniques and you can look at it if you want to. So to transfer the files to your iPad or iPhone, you can either use um, Dropbox or Google Drive. So here I'm just going to demo a Dropbox um, transfer. I'm just going to drop this into my Dropbox folder and this will essentially load the item into my Dropbox which I can then um, sync across my iPad. Back on my iPad, I'm going to launch my Dropbox app. And then I'm going to navigate to the files that I've transferred earlier on. So once I've had the file, if it's a dot .brush set file, I'm just going to tap on it. And once it loads, I'm going to tap on the triple dot button on the top right corner and hit export. Then I'm going to scroll the available apps on top. And if there's no Procreate here, I'm just going to tap on more and look for Procreate here. I just tap on copy to Procreate and it will immediately export to Procreate for brush set files. Then if you click on your brushes sets and you will see the imported one right on top of all your available brush sets. Please, please, please remember that you cannot import or export zip files to your Procreate. You need to unzip them first. So if you're trying to import zip files and you can't do it, please unzip them first. 
to do this if you're not on the files app Dropbox will not be able to unzip your file for you so what you have to do is to tap on it and then open the file in an unzipping app the unzipping app that I use here is called the iZip app Once the file is exported to the iZip app, you can then tap on it to unzip the file and then there will be a folder and inside the folder will be all the files that you need to export to Procreate so just tap on it and tap open in and then select Procreate from the list of applications that are available Once you have done this, you have successfully exported the file to Procreate and you will see the color palette right at the bottom of your palette list now I will share the last method of transferring files from your Mac to your iPad using AirDrop. So this is a really quick, convenient and fast way to do it. So I'm just going to tap on one file at a time and then right click and share and go to AirDrop to start the AirDrop process. So once you have done that, the AirDrop window will pop up and you will be able to see your iPad. But if your iPad is not visible, don't worry, just bring your iPad near you. And once you activate your iPad, you will be able to see your iPad on this Mac screen. But if you are still not discoverable, go to Settings and General, AirDrop and hit on Everyone or Contacts Only. And this will usually toggle it to appear onto your Mac screen. Then when you're ready on your Mac, just click on your iPad and then once you click on it, it will begin to transfer the file to your iPad. iPad will actually automatically import them into Procreate for you so you don't have to worry about that and you can repeat this for every single file that you want to export to Procreate. So I've covered purchasing, downloading, transferring and exporting to Procreate across three devices. So if you have any problem, please refer to this video first before texting me or emailing me. I would appreciate that very very much and please remember that you cannot export zip files to Procreate and remember to enter the correct email address when you are filling out your billing information in my website. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love you always and I will have a new video up soon. Thank you very much. Bye!